wicked problem. A wicked problem is a problem that does not have a simple solution. In fact, it is a problem that no one knows exactly how to solve, as each solution to the problem causes new problems. What makes wicked problems evil is that if nothing is done about them, they will only become bigger problems. But at the same time, we may only have one chance to try to solve them. If we try the wrong things or take too long in trying to solve them, we may not get a second chance. Wicked problems are found all around us. For instance, deciding on nuclear power is a wicked problem because it may cause a catastrophe, but it may also help us avoid another catastrophe, climate change. Or another example, using plastic. Plastic helps protect our food, and it is more durable and moldable than many other products. However, plastic waste kills animals, and currently scientists are doing research to find out whether microplastics can be found even in our drinking water. However, some wicked problems are more wicked than others. Especially some environmental problems, such as climate change, are very challenging to solve, as it is tied to environmental, economic, and societal issues. For this reason, climate change is sometimes called a super-wicked problem. Let's take a closer look. Climate change is caused by greenhouse gases, such as CO2, freed into the environment. If governments were to suddenly ban greenhouse gas emissions, we could stop worrying about climate change. But we would have new problems. Factories would need to close down, and people would need to stop driving. This would cause economic problems, as people would not be able to go to work, and the price of producing goods, such as food and toilet paper, would skyrocket. This would cause people to lose their jobs and not be able to afford to pay rent or buy food. This would cause unrest, such as protests and looting. As we need to avoid this at all costs, the only solution is to gradually reduce greenhouse gas emissions. This can be done by replacing our energy consumption with renewable energy sources. However, nobody is absolutely sure how fast this transition should be made. If it is done too fast, it will cost enormous amounts of money, as alternative technology is still developing. This will cause the prices of goods to go up, causing societal changes. If it is done too slowly, the environmental effects may be irreversible, again costing enormous amounts of money and causing societal changes. However, the stakes are high, and we won't know the right approach except in hindsight. Only time will tell how our standard of living will need to change in order to save our environment that we strongly rely on. However, what is certain is that if nothing is done, climate change will affect us all, and therefore we are dealing with a super wicked problem. Sometimes it may feel like there is no light at the end of the tunnel. However, there is always hope if all of us take this problem seriously. So what could you do to start solving this problem? 1. Start by examining your own or your family's carbon footprint to understand which of your actions contribute to the problem. Then, challenge yourself and your family to reduce those actions that have the greatest impact. Make it fun and choose how you will reward yourself when you reach your goal. 2. Examine what your town or city could do to help solve the problem. Maybe city planning, public transportation, or bike roads need to be improved. Maybe it's something else. Whatever it is, find it and then relentlessly contact your local politicians to ask them to do something about the issue. 3. Keep on educating yourself on the issue. You might want to consider becoming a scientist, an engineer, an architect, or someone else who gets paid to come up with new cool ideas to help solve this and many other problems we face. Together with your teacher, make a plan on what you will do and when. Also, think about things you still need to learn in order to make a greater impact. Start small, dream big, and remember to constantly challenge yourself.